Hi guys, Sherry here from No Fucks Give Crew. How's it going? Okay, so this is going to be a Divine Masculine Twin Flame reading for April the 12th until the 20th, 2017. So I'm going to be doing a Divine Partnership reading, but um, obviously it'll be shot in two parts. Okay, so I'm using the John Holland Psychic Tarot for the main energy and I will use my cards for clarifiers so I'm going to use uh, three cards per position stop okay I've already shuffled them pretty good before coming on camera and I may use the Osho for additional clarifiers and then call it Baron Reed for uh, messages from the universe just one card for that okay so beginning with your um, love and relationship how do you view the relationship uh, the divine partnership um, with your twin flame trapped in fear so the masculine got this um, in his recent past for the twin flame reading so he feels trapped uh, he feels like he can't move forward you feel like um, I mean, you have all these stabbing thoughts, anxieties, fears, um, and it's oppressive energy coming from the outside, so it's holding you back, stopping you from um, feeling that freedom, living the life that you desire. Uh, it could also represent somebody making you feel like you're not worthy. Um, maybe you feel like you don't have enough to offer the feminine. Um, but in reality, these are all just thoughts in your own mind. None of it is real. The feminine doesn't want anything from you other than for you to be happy and for you to feel loved and be loved. Six of Wands, Temperance, and the Knight of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Um, it has to do with your higher destiny, your higher calling. Uh, it's a spirit card. And um, this is success and victory. It means that you feel accomplished. You feel like you are on the right path. Um, you're being recognized for all the hard work that you've done. And people are proud of you. They respect you. They are using you as an example. Temperance is the ultimate union card um, for twin flames. It is two souls coming together. It is the winding of the helix, the DNA. It is, um, she represents zero point. So she is the S and the yin and the yang. So it's two souls coming back together as one. Um, temperance also talks about patience. Um, no attachments, um, being in the now. So having patience while a process is, is occurring. So um, the Knight of Pentacles is making plans about your future, your goals that you want to attain in the 3D material world. And it is taking measured steps one step at a time in order to reach that goal and um, it's a forward movement and it's a very slow movement but this knight will always arrive at his destination so I feel you know that the masculine um, is trying to find balance between the material and spiritual world um, on the one hand he feels and spiritu you know, spiritually enlightened, excited. You feel like you're on the right path um, and you are taking measured steps to make your dreams a reality in the 3D. So you're trying to find that balance, that state of now, um, the point where you are happy, um, both financially and spiritually. But at the same time, you feel like you can't move forward with that you're being held back 
from taking that final step, from, you know, really following your truer, authentic um, path and destiny. And you know it's the truth because of the way it makes you feel balanced, united. Um, you feel that oneness in the sun. You are one. We are one. Okay, so what are you resisting? Three of Wands. So this is um, the feminine got this in her present position. So this is coming together to work on a shared vision or goal that has to do with your higher purpose. It has to do with spirituality, awakening. So you're resisting, you know, taking that hand. The feminine is offering you that hand to come together. Um, uh, but you're resisting it. Why? High Priest. Strength card. And the Ace of Swords. As you can see, I've been doing some work on my cards here. This is a new one. My new Temperance card. And hopefully my other cards will pop up, but I did a little work on my Ace of Swords as well. So, um... The High Priest, this is a Divine Masculine in his spiritual form, connected to his Higher Self, connected to Source through his Crown Chakra. Um, they are also uh, a spiritual leader, um, you know, spiritually awakened and being a light and guiding others out of the darkness. So again, this is in his resisting position. So my sense is that he understands his higher calling, his higher destiny, um, because it awakens him to higher levels of consciousness, and that's what this twin flame journey is about. It's helping each other, guiding each other, mirroring each other, um, in order to move to higher levels of consciousness. Um, the strength card is using love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with the situation, uh, in order to make a decision about your environment. So love, kindness, compassion, and um, self-control and willpower as well. So it's dealing with things in a, you know, a loving way. And then the Ace of Swords, Ace is one, so it's a brand new beginning. It's making a decision. It's grounding that decision into reality. Um, I have a woman holding a sword, the sword of truth, and she is exposed naked. Um, so she comes exposed. She comes bearing her truth. So you are resisting making a decision. Um, you're resisting cutting away the barriers, the darkness. You're resisting finding strength and courage um, in order to live your true, authentic life. So reach out and take the feminine's hand. Um, you are in this, you know, to help each other, guide each other. Okay, so message from your higher self. Nine of Swords. Your higher self is telling you that you have the key to release yourself from that mental prison. And your higher self is telling you to change um, your life. Let go of your fears. Let go of your anxiety. Um release the chain you have that ability to do that so the nine is staying up at night anxiety worry fear and um, this card showed up as a foundation energy with the base card with the base chakra so um, there's a sense that you feel unsettled like um, 
you don't know if you should trust your your heart, your intuition. Two of Cups. Page of Cups. Wow. And the Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay, so Two of Cups. That's spiritual union. That is recognizing your twin flame. Um, this showed up in the um, twin flame reading. It was... I believe it was in your near future position. So, you know, recognizing that you have a deep soul connection with someone that is unlike any other connection you've ever experienced in your life, it awakens you to higher levels of consciousness and it opens your heart chakra. Um, so this is a, a, you know, a twin flame connection because it's a spiritual union, recognizing your soulmate and feeling unconditional love, seeing yourself in another. The Page of Cups is a messenger. If you guys don't recognize this, it's Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> so I don't know what the copyrights are like, but um, I try to make the characters a little bit younger. I don't know. But anyways, um, you know, he's a champion. He, um, he fights for love. So, you know, this is communicating love. This is a messenger. Uh, the page is also muse. So it's the thing that, you know, poets write about or paint about, that kind of thing. It, it awakens your creativity, your inspiration. So it's communicating your love. Spirit is asking you to release yourself from that mental prison and express your feelings, your emotions to your twin, to your true love. The Eight of Cups is making a decision to walk away from emotionally abusive situation, um, something that is, is draining you. So it's a, it's a beautiful card. It's finally making that decision to walk away. And uh, so it's a pilgrimage, it's a spiritual journey. So I'm feeling, um, you know, these are both making that decision to release yourself. The nine is coming to completion, and the eight is making that decision to walk away. So, you know, like I said, you have that power to release yourself. Follow your heart. What makes you come alive? What inspires you? Um, you know, and that's that true, true love connection with your soulmate. It's not worth um, the sacrifice that you make on a daily basis. Um, one moment. So sorry about that. Uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, if, you know, Clearly, your higher self is trying to send you a message, saying, you know, telling you that you have the, the strength to release yourself from this mental prison. It's just thoughts. And um, I feel that, you know, you're receiving messages from your higher self telling you um, that the true um, pathway to happiness and freedom is to follow your heart. So, you know, true love um, does not require a sacrifice. Um, you know, if you feel that, you know, in order for others to be happy, you have to sacrifice your own happiness, then you're still caught in the machine. Um, you're still believing the lies that um, society has conditioned upon you. Uh, you choose to believe that um, you must sacrifice yourself for others, but that's not the truth. The truth is, for you, for others to be happy, you need to be living your true, authentic life. Don't repress yourself. Don't hold yourself back. Um, don't believe that you don't deserve, you know, happiness and love, true love. So I feel that there's that awakening, that knowing, and a release. Recent past position, Nine of Pentacles. 
material harvest. So this is ripeness, abundance. The fruit is ready to drop from the branches. Uh, this is feeling like you have accomplished much in the 3D world and you've built up a foundation. Um, you have a lot to offer, you know, and a lot of possessions, a lot of, you know, abundance in the 3D. Nine of Wands, uh, Justice, and Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands. So you got this in your present position for in the Twin Flame. So this is the wounded warrior fighting day after day, um, battle after battle, um, you know, being knocked down and getting back up again. Uh, and again, wands has to do with spirituality, so it's like you're fighting um, to, you know, free yourself from um, the constraints of society, from constraints of the 3D world, uh, and you feel like giving up, like there's just too much on, on your plate, and spirit is saying not to, to find that spiritual strength that, um, you know, look within and tap into your inner Buddha and there you, you will find that, you know, ability to give it that one final push. So Justice card is the ultimate balance. It is uh, the karmic card. So what you put out, you get back. So it's a cause and effect. So Spirit is saying that in the recent past, um, Spirit is recognizing you for all the efforts that you've done, you know, building that, um, that life for yourself, working on your spiritual growth, um, you know, looking after others, helping and sharing. Um, and because of that, you know, good fortune and karma coming back to you. And spirit is is saying that it's time now to put those wands down and to let go of that burden. Again, ten wands. Uh, the feminine is bringing this into the union for the twin flame, and it's a completion. Um, you know, and we've got somebody lying in bed here, watching the clock tick away, and that's your you know your life ticking away. Um, you're wasting your energy, your life force on the machine, working day after day. And for what? In the end, you will have material abundance. But will you be living that life yet that you've always wanted? Or will it be filled with regret? So 10, like I said, is completion. The um, recent past is a sense that the masculine gave it that final push and um, perhaps um, is in the process of um, stepping out of the machine and realizing that you can be abundant in the material world uh, without having a lot of money or possessions or things to offer. Um, you in the 3D is all the feminine wants. Uh, I know men feel that they need to be that provider to, you know, be the rock. Um, but, you know, that's just material, uh, that's society, that's conditioning, that's telling you that you need to toil, that you need to sacrifice. But it all ha it's karma. What you put in, you get back. So if you work your entire life, sacrifice your entire life for someone else, for something, to attain something else, then what you will get back are, is that energy, you know, just material possessions um, and sacrificing your own happiness as a result of it. You know, isn't 
it better to live your life the way you want to live it? You know, let go of that burden. Your present position, truth, judgment, the grand awakening, realizing your entire life has been an illusion, um, that it's all society's conditioning, um, that it's just a movie that's being played on the screen in your own mind. You create the characters, the plot, the outcome. So you decide how this movie plays out and how uh, you, you shape your own environment around you. So um, this also represents significant changes in having to evaluate your life and um, make major decisions, judgments, in order to change the course of your life that would bring you closer to your true authentic life. Truth, living your truth, awakening, so it's a rebirth, a phoenix rising. Three of Wands, Three of Swords, and Five of Pentacles. So, once again, I, there's a decision that is being made, looking at your life again, reevaluating, um, you know, realizing that the machine has you, <laughs> you know what I mean? The matrix has you, and freeing yourself from that chain. So the Three of Wands, um, this showed up on the masculine side. So this is making a decision that's based on your higher visions, your dreams, and it has to do with spirituality, your true authentic life, living your, your truth. Um, and so the decision wasn't based on fear. You've already learned that lesson. Now it's based on um, your destiny, you know, being excited about life. This is wand energy. Um, so now you're waiting for that return, feeling successful about that decision because it, it's exciting you. So the three of swords, heartbreak. So present position, you are afraid of having your heart broken. Um, that's what has you contemplating. You know, that's the thing that's holding you back from fully releasing those fears. So it is a significant uh, transformation that you are currently going through, but you've already made that decision. You already know um, the right path to take, but the thing that's stopping you is heartbreak, fear of things not working out, um, uh, feeling like you've had your heart broken too many times in the past and you don't know if you can do it again. Um, so a guarded heart. The Five of Pentacles is a financial loss of some kind. It's feeling left out in the cold also. But there's a sense of needing to shoot yourself in the foot in order to release yourself from something. So, you know, while, while you're waiting, you, you've made that decision, you're reevaluating your life, you're awakening to higher levels of consciousness, to your truth. Um, but it requires you to release that fear, heal your heart, release that fear, heal your heart. Um, and, you know, ultimately, if it means, um, you know, a financial loss of some kind, that loss needs, you know, will awaken you even further, you know, in terms of conditioning and what society deems important. You know, it's not the material world that's important. It's living your life, your true authentic life, free of fear, free of burden. Near future, wish granted again. So fulfillment of wishes. Um, this also represents emotional abundance. It's an arrival, going to restaurants, uh, going to movies, um, just enjoying life, doing all those things that you wanted to do. 
you know, your bucket list. Go skydiving. You know, um, so this is not having to worry about anything anymore. It's just, it's doing the things that you love and being happy, choosing the things that make you feel emotionally fulfilled and abundant. So there's a sense that he's following his heart. Um, so there's three nines here. I was just noticing one, two, three. King of Cups. Judgment card again. Six of Swords. King of Cups could represent a water sign, but I feel that because the you know, um, the main card here is a cup card, which is love. It represents the masculine opening his heart, releasing his fears, awakening to his higher consciousness, um, to his truth. So the king of cups is the pinnacle of achievement uh, in terms of emotions. It's having emotional control, being balanced, um, being that open vessel, giving love and receiving love. But this is the king, so the love is very pure um, and innocent, giving without conditions. Judgment card, again, that's in your present position. So, again, it's realizing your entire life has just been a movie. So, even though you're going through that awakening process right now and healing your heart, in the future, you will heal your heart and, and ultimately step into this emotionally abundant, um, loving, generous king. And it's because of your spirituality, your um, your awakening, releasing your fears and judgments. Um, Six of Swords, a great card. It's making that decision to finally walk away. Release yourself from that prison. And um, yeah, so this is walking away from negative energy, negative people. Uh, and negative thoughts. It's, so it's a good card. So it's moving from um, choppy waters to calmer waters, you know, stilling the mind, but ultimately making that decision um, not to sacrifice yourself anymore. You know, um, love is also the key to the spiritual awakening process. It's, you know, when your heart chakra is open, it activates other levels, you know, your third eye and your crown chakra. So, um, you know, following your heart and your inner knowing, your truth, will ultimately guide you away from that negative space and towards love and your wish, wishes come true. Okay, so a message from the universe. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. So the masculine, uh, you got this in your recent past position for the Twin Flame reading. So this is the universe offering you a new beginning in the 3D. So it's that seed being planted. You and your soulmate coming together and starting a new life together in the 3D. Four of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. So the Four of Wands, um, usually I use this card to represent the Twin Flame Union, uh, but in the John Holland deck. So in my deck, I have it to represent what it's supposed to mean, its original meaning, which is that arrival. Living your true authentic life, this is the spirit card, so it's wand, um, and being at peace, harmony, bliss with 
your soulmate, your twin flame. Uh, so it could represent marriage, engagement, you know, buying a home together. It's an, it's, um, an, an arrival plus a new beginning, brand new beginning of life. So, you know, the universe is telling you, you know, offering you this new beginning, and it has to do with um, that thing that will make you come alive, that, you know, um, your passions, your desires, your dreams, and pure love. Uh, so the Eight of Pentacles is positive movement forward. It is a grounding that beginning and, you know, seeing payoff and continuing to work uh, to build a stronger foundation. So there's a real sense of accomplishment that the seed has already been laid. Remember, it came up in the recent past. So the seed is laid. The intention is there. Uh, and the foundation is laid, and now, you know, um, you're being asked to continue to work um, on nurturing and growing that connection, that dream that you desire. So the Wheel of Fortune is a cycle of completion from five to ten years. So it's good luck, prosperity, good fortune coming towards you, and so does this card. It's good luck and abundance. Um, and this is success arrival and it's because of all the work that you've done in the 3d you have sacrificed much you have worked hard and you know spirit is acknowledging that saying that you know what comes around goes around what you put out you get back and it comes back in this most beautiful way Okay, so your environment, choose wisely. So the feminine got this on uh, in the twin flame reading. So this is not seeing your way clearly. It's scattered energy. Um, it's having too many decisions and choices and not knowing which one to choose. So it's um, a withdrawal in order to find peace and stillness to make that decision and spirit is asking you to follow your heart when making that decision. So again, it's in your environment. Four of swords. Three of pentacles. And queen of pentacles. Four of swords. This is uh, retreat. It is stilling your mind. It's meditation. It's finding peace and tranquility in order to make a decision about the 3D world, um, laying a foundation. So it also is um, healing your heart as well. The Three of Pentacles is a firm foundation being laid. So this is, you know, after the Ace of Pentacles, it's, you know, wanting to ground. Um, that new beginning into the 3D uh, and not really knowing how to do it, feeling confused and lost and choosing to find stillness and calmness in order to make that decision. Uh, and then the Queen of Pentacles, um, she showed up in the Twin Flame reading as well. So this is that 3D Queen, the one that you can hold and feel. So, you know, you are retreating um, you know, in, your environment is chaotic, confusing, but you're retreating uh, or being asked to retreat, find stillness in order to make that decision about, you know, um, building upon that, that seed with the Queen of Pentacles in 3D, in the material world. All right, so what do you fear? Eight of Wands, Accelerated Motion. Again, another card that the Feminine brought in to the Twin Flame. So this is communication, so texting or messages. Um, it also represents, wish, well, actually reaching for the star, reaching for your highest dreams, your highest goals and visions, uh, 
that has to do with your spirituality, your true authentic life, um, and having that energy come back to you. And it also represents Cupid's arrows. Tower. Lover's card. And the devil. Wow. Okay, I was like, well, why do you fear that? That's a good thing. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is that you know, uh, you have a sense of where your destiny lies. You've already made those choices. You've reached for your dreams. Um, and it awakened you. Okay, so, you know, that energy is coming back to you in a good way. But you fear. And what is it that you fear? You fear the tower. And you fear the devil. Because um, that requires a sacrifice. The tower must fall and the chain must come undone for, a, you know, your union, for your, um, the twin flames to come together, to have that, you know, spiritual union with your twin flame. So this is a uh, longing for union, though. It's not actual union. The two of cups is union. So this is recognizing your twin flame and longing for that. So that's that energy that is coming towards you, that Cupid's arrows. Um, and, it, and you're afraid of that because it requires the tower. So the tower is um, your world as you knew it coming down. And it has to do with the material world. So it's building a life on a faulty foundation. And, you know, it's a house of cards. One gust of wind is going to come along and knock it over uh, without much effort. So it's a sudden energy. It comes in very quickly. And um, so it's, you know, you're in your fear position. So either you're holding on to it or someone else uh, is stopping you, you know, from letting that fall. Um, but you're allowing that to happen because of fear. So this is um, letting the old foundation fall in order for a new, stronger, real foundation to be built on top of it. So it's a rebirth. And it could represent a dark night of the soul. So what is the foundation that needs to come down? Well, the devil card is a chain. Um, so it could represent conditioning, um, stories, um, could be a codependent relationship or an addiction. It is something chained to you in the 3D. This lie, this illusion, um, is holding you back. So you fear releasing that in order to, you know, um, live your true life as well as be with your true love. But ultimately, the tower will come down, um, and it's usually very suddenly, you know, out of the blue. It comes down, and you know, there's nothing you can really do to stop it. De Destiny has um, um, has plans for us. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. So that's the five of wands, which is obstacles and challenges. So the overall energy here is obstacles and challenges so this is usually a challenge that is meant to make you better you know it's always a positive card so it's a way to make your light shine brighter so um, you know uh, it's a challenge or a disagreement um, so you know you could have competition or rivals in your environment uh, but spirit is asking you just to take that leap you know it's a small crack in the path it's not a big deal um, so it's a matter of perspective so yes the overall energy is to release yourself from that obstacle that prison of your mind Okay, so now I'm going to pull one card from, call it Baron Reed, for the message from the universe. Whoa, I guess it's that one. Stuck in the mud. 
That's perfect, actually. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, stuck in the mud. You're being invited to stop and savor the wonder of your life. Becoming stuck is sometimes the only way to trick yourself into slowing down and looking around you. In fact, this is a sign that you need to shift your focus away from what you're doing and place it on it, um, your attention elsewhere. Struggling will only get you even muddier places. Now is not a time to move forward, but observe. Clarity about your circumstances will come a little later. Stop and find the joy in what you've been overlooking. Soon you'll be out of the mud, but for now, be still and know the Spirit has a plan for you. <laughs> oh my God, that's what I just said. So stop struggling. And that's what I'm, I was saying, you know, with the, the ten of wands, put the wands down. The harder you try, the deeper you will sink. Um, so, you know, the mud is like the machine, um, society's conditioning, stop tr struggling and, you know, find that stillness and within that stillness, you will see the answer that to live your life truly and, you know, with peace and happiness is to follow that thing that makes you come alive. Uh, and follow your heart. So reevaluation phase. Find your truth. All right. So I would love to hear if this resonated with you. So comments are welcome. And I hope you enjoyed this. Peace.